guys, this is Lauren with Lagged at New Media Rights. Today we're talking with Chris Avalone, Chief Creative Officer for Obsidian Entertainment. You know Hello. Him. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> you know him best for uh, his work on Fallout 2, Fallout New Vegas, and Star Wars KOTOR 2, and now Wasteland 2, among many, many others. Thanks for talking with us today, Chris. Thank you very much, Lauren. And uh, yes, I've worked on a great many RPGs, which makes me very, very old, but that's okay because I'm still working on RPGs. Uh, so can you tell us a bit about yourself and maybe what a chief creative officer does, um, at least at Obsidian? Well, um, first off, I want to say that the, the whole title of chief creative officer always kind of throws me off a little bit because I feel like that's kind of somebody who carries a gun and they don't give me a gun. So I mostly prefer like titles like uh, creative director, or just being the design guy or whatever. Um, at Obsidian, that, that means a lot of things. Um, it usually involves just uh, being a part of the design process of the studio, not necessarily being the guy who's in charge of doing like the vision for each product, but sort of helping people at the studio realize the vision for their products. Um, and you do things like you attend design meetings, like you try and share what experiences you've had with certain design systems so that like certain mistakes aren't repeated or certain things that work well are sort of carried over from game to game. Um, it's also part of my job to sort of get a consensus from all the owners and sort of all my bosses as to what sort of design direction they want projects to go in and what the goals are and make sure that we're all on the same page before we actually launch a project and sort of get out of pre-production. Um, for example, I, uh, I usually work a lot with, uh, with Chris Parker, who's sort of our uh, executive producer here at the studio, and make sure that whatever design feedback I'm getting is sort of like channeled through him and made sure it's given to all the projects. They know what they're supposed to be hitting in terms of design. And then like you do a lot of um, other stuff like, um, you know, establishing expectations for each position. Like here's what a systems lead should be responsible for on every project of the studio. Like if you're ever in doubt, like here's a list of things that you should start with and how to approach system design and how you should be leading your systems team. Um, I help out with the design hiring for the studio, like setting up design tests for candidates. And um, I also help out a lot with the pitch process. Um, whenever we're, have, we have a new idea from a publisher, or they want to see an RPG from us, I'm usually one of the guys that sits down and sort of helps write a lot of the creative elements uh, for the pitch, like story and lore, uh, and occasionally help out with like the gameplay systems as well. And, that, and that, that's pretty fun, uh, although I will admit that sometimes going through that whole dog and pony show process gets pretty it's, can get kind of exhausting. But, uh, and then my favorite part of my job is that when I'm not doing those things, uh, I still get a chance to write a lot of characters and write a lot of quests for our games, like I did for uh, like uh, New Vegas and the DLCs, and you know, like for Wasteland 2. Like, and I really love that part of the process. The fact that I can still do that in my role is pretty exciting. Is there anything that you don't do? <laughs> um, I don't. I don't do a lot with budgets. Um, okay. Although I read schedules and I'm aware of what tasks are, are out there, I don't. I'm not usually the one that establishes those. Uh, I don't have Fergus's very. Fergus is our CEO. I don't. I don't have Fergus's rather unpleasant job of having to negotiate contracts, which I don't understand. That way, doesn't blow his brains out like every other day or, or every day. But man, that guy has the patience of a saint. Cause I don't know if I could handle all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 